What's going on, moviegoers? If you're new to the channel, my name is Christian. Welcome to SeaWorld Productions. We have a first glimpse, a first set photo of Ryan Coogler's untitled vampire thriller starring Michael B. Jordan and Haley Steinfeld releasing in theaters next March, you guys, of 2025. Now, it's not much, but it's a glimpse of something. We get to see Michael B. Jordan in character. Now, keep in mind, he's going to be playing two different versions. He's playing a twin as well. I'm curious to know if his twin's going to be identical or could Michael B. Jordan be playing a vampire and a non-vampire? That would be a huge plot twist. But I'm pretty sure Michael B. Jordan can pull off any role. I'm excited, you guys. I can't wait. So, these set photos confirms it being a period piece. Set in 1932, you guys. I'm like, okay, well, we got a little bit of confirmation about that. Anything helps. This film has been kept under wraps, and I want to know why. It is, this must be a complete banger. That, who's that? I think we got Warner Brothers. <laughs> they must feel like they have gold on their hands, you guys. It was so surprising to me when this film got announced. And then all of a sudden, a month later, they're shooting. So that means Ryan Coogler has been in the kitchen. And just, just stirred up some stuff for the last year, year and a half. I'm excited because I love me some Ryan Coogler, you guys. But not only that, you guys, we get to see the town. This is set in New Orleans, you guys. It's going to be set in the South. We see a fourth street pharmacy and a barbershop with some signage. Now, it's not much, but I don't know if those numbers mean the prices. I see 58, 45, 39, and 19 cents. It reminds me of that scene from uh, <laughs> All About the Benjamins with Mike Epps. I don't know if you guys remember that movie. <laughs> he goes to you know, play the lottery ticket or whatever. He's like a 15, 30, 37. A 48. A -a -boo -boo -boo. If you guys haven't seen All About the Benjamins, I'm telling you guys, watch it. It is an all-time classic, especially in the black community. It is hilarious. But like I'm saying, I don't know if those are prices. Look, this is 1932. Things were real cheap back then. I mean, I don't even want to talk about the prices nowadays, you guys. It is outrageous. Okay, quick story time. I went out to dinner with my wife and son. I kid you guys not. I got a steak burrito. My wife got a steak burrito. We got the same thing. All I had was rice and beans and some cheese and a little bit of guac. I got my son some rice and beans and some chicken on the side. I spent over $50 on that meal. I couldn't believe it. I was like, no way this is over $50. That means our burritos were like $18. A burrito, $18? And keep this in mind, you guys, we were at Sharky's. <laughs> you know what I mean? It wasn't even like some, some authentic Mexican food. We were at Sharky's. I couldn't believe it. I was devastated. Okay, story's over, you guys. Just know that inflation is real and everybody is feeling it. Eat at home. You'll save some time. You'll save some money. Um, but not only that, you guys, in the set photo, in the town, I love that I love that this town feels like everything's being built. That's what I really love and appreciate that. I, I, I really appreciate set design. Set designs to me are just beautiful. Tim Burton and his world, or even, you know, Barbie. I, I, also, I go as far as saying Barbie, and I love the whole sets in Barbie. I, I don't like Barbie as a movie, but the whole set design I thought was very beautiful. Very beautiful and unique. But then we see a Rosenthal Ice Corporation company with an image of a guy blowing on ice. Then we see Robbins Motor Car Corporation selling and buying used cars and Cotton Bottle Hotel. And we even see a grocery store with traditional staging outside with the baskets, usually typically filled with fruits and veggies, you guys. That's all we have for these set photos. It's not much, but you know what? It's still something because like I said, this film has been kept under wraps and it's killing me. We don't even have a title. Like there's no title. Possibly because, because in that title is a spoiler for the film. That's probably why. It's killing me. Like Michael B. Jordan and Ryan Coogler as a team and as a whole, you know, I, I cannot wait. I am so excited. You know, when, that, when they announced that they're doing a vampire movie, I was like, I love vampires. I love Ryan Coogler. I love Michael B. Jordan. You throw Haley Steinfeld. You throw in Delroy Linda. Uh, D, uh, D, completely drawn a blank on his name. Delroy Lindo. I think that's his name. Absolutely. You guys. And that's not only it. A lot of people keep comparing this to Blade. <laughs> I know I did in one of my recent videos. But it's so funny. Everybody's like, Ryan Coogler's doing a Blade movie before Marvel Studios. It's because Blade was announced damn near five years ago. And it still hasn't jumped off. But according to the insider, Jeff Snyder, you guys... Blade starts shooting this summer in Mexico. So that means the script is done. They're building sets that they're going to start shooting within the next couple of months. So it could possibly hit that release date of November 7th of 2025. I don't want this movie to get delayed anymore. I need to see Mahersha Ali as the Daywalker. Giving me two vampire movies in one year of that being directed by Ryan Coogler. 
absolutely that's i'm down with it i can't wait look you guys any glimpses or any more update updates or you know uh updates involving around the story the plot or more actors joining the project i will give you guys the videos the content that you guys need because i feel like a lot of people are sleeping on this one and don't because ryan coogler is cooking and i'm gonna be eating whatever he's cooking tastes good to me but post your comments down below let me know what you guys think about these set photos we got for Ryan Coogler's Untitled Vampire Movie. I know it's not a lot. All it is is Michael B. Jordan in the town. You get to see him with the fresh haircut, the glasses, you know what I mean? And the nice suit and the holster and all. But it's still something, you guys. But post your comments down below. And, of course, thank you guys for taking time out of your day for watching C-Real Productions. Peace.